In an article on Foreign Policy Journal, the president said it was not clear how the deadlock would be resolved. The president last month backed down on his controversial plan to hold on to power for an extra two years after disagreements over how to hold elections. He accused a few clan elders and leaders of federal state of holding the Somalia people hostage every four years. The main sticking point is whether the country should adopt direct election or an indirect elections where clan elders select MPs or in turn choose the president. Somali elections are conducted under a complex indirect system where clan elders select MPs who in turn choose the president. President Farmajo's mandate expired in February, but no vote has been held because of regional contretemps over how power is distributed and a rule over a new election commission. Somalia has been torn by conflict for decades but had been moving towards stability since 2012 when a new internationally backed government was installed, helped by an African Union force providing security. The United Nations Security Council said that the political deadlock was diverting attention from serious problems, including the coronavirus pandemic, a low-cost invasion and security problems.